In this example, we will solve an assorted mix of questions. In part A, what is the equation of the reflection line for the graphs of f of x equals b to the power of x and g of x equals 1 over b to the power of x? Start with the more complex function, g of x, and simplify. Write 1 over b as b to the power of negative 1. Multiply the exponents. b to the power of x becomes b to the power of negative x with the transformation equation g of x equals f of negative x. This is a horizontal reflection about the y-axis. Bring up the graphs. For illustrative purposes, the graphs of y equals 2 to the power of x and y equals 2 to the power of negative x are being used. In part b, if the point a0 exists on the graph of f of x and the point 0a exists on the graph of g of x, what is the transformation equation? For this question, we just need to remember that an inverse transformation will swap the x and y coordinates. a0 becomes 0a by using the transformation equation g of x equals the inverse function of x. Now we'll move on to part c. What is the inverse of f of x equals 3 raised to the power of x plus 4? Bring up the graph of f of x equals 3 raised to the power of x plus 4. Rewrite the function. We want to find the inverse, so swap x and y. Isolate the term with y. Convert to logarithmic form using a base is always a base. Rewrite the function using inverse notation. The graph of the inverse is obtained by reflecting across the line y equals x. Now we'll move on to part d. If the graph of f of x equals a base 4 logarithm of x is transformed by the equation y equals f of 3x minus 12 plus 2, what is the new domain of the graph? Bring up the graph of f of x equals the base 4 logarithm of x. Rewrite the function. Factor out 3. There is a horizontal stretch by a scale factor of 1 third, a horizontal translation 4 units right, and a vertical translation 2 units up. The new domain of the graph is x is greater than 4. Now we'll move on to part E. The point k3 exists on the inverse of y equals 2 to the power of x. What is the value of k? Rewrite y equals 2 to the power of x. To get the inverse, swap x and y. k equals 2 cubed. The answer is k equals 8.